Hello crypto people, my name is Seb. Today we're going to dive in, we're going to work out what is a seed phrase, private key, and a public address. Now if you're super super new to blockchains in general, crypto in general, then what I'd suggest you do as well is come over to Whiteboard Crypto, subscribe to his channel, Theodore, and also check out this first video here, what is a blockchain, animated plus examples. Basically he does a fantastic job of explaining it all in eight and a half minutes. He gives a lot of analogies and it's just really really clear for a newbie. So jump into that video and that channel if needed as well. Now it takes a little bit of time just to explain things simply. So I'm not going to be adding any fancy illustrations or graphics unfortunately, but hopefully we can keep it pretty simple. What I've done is I've gone and grabbed Phantom, Soulflare, and the Solet wallet, which are the main wallets for the Solana ecosystem. When you get these yourself, you'll find them on the Chrome web store, but you'll go to their respected websites first. What you're basically looking for is with Phantom has over 500,000 users, 106 reviews, Soulflare, 20,000 users, five star reviews there, and Solet, 20 reviews and 100,000 users. You wanna make sure that you're getting the actual correct extension and not any fraudulent ones which may be around. The next thing that's gonna happen is we are going to create this seed phrase. So we jump into Phantom as an example, we can click on create new wallet. This will give us our secret recovery phrase. This is either 12 or 24 words and we keep these super safe. Copy them, paste them somewhere, write them down, practice recovering your wallet, etc. That's all covered in other videos. Jumping into Soulflare, it's the exact same thing. We create a new wallet, obviously we'd put in a password and we record these words. With Soulit, it's 24 words here. It doesn't matter if it's 12 or 24 words, they'll still all work. They're all seed phrases and these are generated by the blockchain. So here I am in the Phantom wallet. I've got $5 worth of assets in this wallet here. This is wallet number one, wallet two, another $5 and same thing with wallet three. Go back to wallet one. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna check what our seed phrase is. You'll never ever share the seed phrase with anybody. Copy that. I'm pasting it here as it's a tutorial. Where you store your seed phrase, it's up to you, but it needs to be somewhere super, super safe where only you have control over it. As you can see, for wallet number one, this is my 12 word seed phrase. With wallet number two, we can go and check it out. It's the exact same seed phrase. We'll jump into settings, show secret recovery phrase, and you can see it's the exact same. The same thing is true of wallet three, we won't even bother checking. Basically, as long as we created another address from that seed phrase, just by going like that, then that is all good. It's important to note that when we create another address, that this all comes from the blockchain. It has nothing to do with Phantom itself. Phantom just shows you the wallet. Once again, all there. It's all done by some pretty advanced math that confuses the top 1% of the population, and that is blockchain stuff. So here we are in wallet number one. As you can see, it's the same recovery seed phrase. If I copy the seed phrase, I can go to a new browser, maybe a different browser or a different profile or a different laptop, etc. And I can literally click use secret recovery phrase, paste it in, put in a password, agree and save. And here you can see I have the exact same wallet all with $5, exactly the same. So that's the nature of having a seed phrase. You can recover all of your wallets, all of your addresses that you have derived from the same seed phrase. The next thing to work out is what are private keys. So we jump into our settings, scroll on down, and we export our private key. This is our private key. We never share this with anybody. I'm gonna copy it here and paste it. It's a series of numbers and letters. Everything is case sensitive. So here we have an uppercase F and then a lowercase Z. That is just how it works. If we go to wallet number two, it's actually gonna be a different private key. Put in our password, copy that, and you can see it's a different private key. Now we'll go to wallet number three and it's the same. So the only thing that is shared and that it's the same is the seed phrase. You do not have to record your private keys. This is not necessary because as long as you have this one here, the secret recovery passphrase of 12 or 24 words, you can always recover all of your wallet addresses. Here we are, we've got our three. Now let's move on to public addresses. It's a series of numbers and letters. You can share it with others as long as you are happy for them to know what your assets are. So maybe you've got $100,000 worth of Solana you might not necessarily want someone to know that you've got that. I'm going to click up here where it says wallet one, copy that. And this is my first wallet address. If you're super new to the blockchain space, I can come to the SoulScan browser explorer and I can see very easily how much Solana they have. 
two dollars and what other tokens they have in this case three usdc you could paste in any address whatsoever as an example i'm looking at another account here this is not my account this is just a random account that i saw on SolScan. it has 64.9 sol and it has another token down here which is likely an nft that is the nature of a public address anybody can see it this is the address that you use when you're sending crypto to yourself from say an exchange if we go to wallet number two we have a separate address again and wallet number three exactly the same so so far that's very very simple in wallet number three if we wanted to we could take our usd coin and we could send this to wallet number one we can use this at symbol and we can select wallet number one we can put in max and this is the public address this is what the blockchain uses to send something once again this is case sensitive so as you can see this is the address if i took this address and just copied it and made a fake one all i need to do is just change one thing i could either delete the p or i could even make the p a lower case then if i copy that i can go to wallet number one we have six USDC. If I go to wallet number two, I could send one USD coin to this address with a lowercase p. I've sent it, it's going to go, even if nobody owns that address. At the moment, it still exists in the Solana network. Jump into wallet number one, this will still say $6. It will not say $7. So do not do any typos and make sure you're copying and pasting. That is the nature with all of these things, any typos, and it doesn't work. As an example, if we took a round and we put it at the end, it would derive a completely different address. So I'll quickly show you that. So here I am, I'm gonna go and reset this wallet, and I've pasted it in, I've changed the order, and it says an invalid secret recovery phrase. So it's not gonna be able to recover our crypto if we make any mistakes. Sometimes people make mistakes, especially when they're writing it down and they haven't practiced recovering it. As an example, we could take seek and maybe we have a leak sometimes this will actually generate a new address if it's not an invalid secret recovery phrase so it's important to note that everything is always exactly as it's written capitalization matters and the word order matters and you must never accidentally remove any letters or change them if you do it is impossible to get back 100% mathematically impossible. Next thing we're gonna cover are private keys. How can we import them in? Here I am in a brand new phantom wallet. This has a different address, different private key, and a different seed phrase. If I want to, I can go and import this private key. Let's go to add connect wallet, import private key. I can name it whatever I want to, maybe it's NFTs. And you can see I've imported this wallet. I only have the ability to use it in Phantom or another wallet such as Soulflare or Solid. It does not mean in any way that this private key and this public address is connected with this seed phrase. This and this is still connected with the original seed phrase. So what would happen if we went ahead and reset this wallet? We could import this recovery phrase. And as you can see, we only have this wallet here. Adding another one has a completely different address. We do not have access to this public address unless we re-import this private key. Now, the next thing to understand that the Phantom Wallet, Solet Wallet, Soulflare, they are different to an exchange such as Binance. If you make a mistake here, then that mistake is completely on you. So you need to be very, very careful. It's also important to understand that the blockchain actually holds the crypto. And all this allows you to do is use it or move it so as long as you have this private key you can actually utilize the blockchain so as an example we're going to remove wallet number two it has an nft in here as well i'm going to scroll on down i'm going to remove wallet now it's gone from the wallet however it still exists on the blockchain so we could either go and grab this one and re-import it we could call this nfts import and it comes back. The blockchain knows everything. And because the blockchain knows everything, it's all viewable on an explorer such as SolScan. Finally, just a few quick tips. Always keep your seed phrase nice and safe. Make sure you practice recovering it. As we've done, the easiest way is just to use another browser and to actually practice recovering it. The second thing, you do not have to write down or record these private keys. It's not necessary. The only time you do that is if you wanted to copy it so that you could go and import it into a brand new different wallet such as this one 
or for some reason you may want to give someone access, maybe a friend or a family member to the actual wallet, but not give them the entire seed phrase, which is also a valid thing, just certainly something to consider but not treat lightly. The next thing to understand is your public address. If you need tech support, you may have to go and give this to someone. So as an example, if you go to help.phantom.app and you submit a ticket up here, you may have to put in all the information and it might be a good idea to say, this is my address. I've noticed this happened. Do you know what's happening? Now remember, anything that happens to your wallet, it happens because you've done something with it. Maybe you've connected to a bad site. Maybe someone's got a hold of your seed phrase just because you unfortunately haven't practice good security. So all of your security is dependent on you. So you just must be playing safe. Another very obvious tip to me that may not be obvious to others is it is a good idea to have multiple addresses. I've said this many times, but as you know, you can always recover them as long as you have this recovery phrase. There's no harm in using one wallet. This one could be for NFT drops. This one might be for DeFi and you can have different wallet addresses with different purposes. That way, if this one here was ever compromised by a bad website or something like that, the funds in this one would be safe. The only exception being if you actually gave these words to someone else. And if you did that, they have access to your crypto. So don't do that and don't put it into any websites. Thanks very much for watching. If you do have any comments or any questions, leave them below and I'll do my best to answer them. But stay safe out there. Make sure you're not ever putting your seed phrase into a website. Don't worry about your private keys, but hopefully you understand what they are. Just don't be sharing them with anyone as well. And with your public addresses, don't share them to people that you don't want them to know how much crypto you have. Of course, you always have the option of creating multiple addresses, as you know. But thanks again. Please like, subscribe, and see you next time. Cheers.